Gabriel, can you hear me? Uh, 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 yes, I, I, there was, uh, there, there, there was a, a great earthquake in China during 2008. And it was, uh, it was a lot of damage, I think. Mm, I see. Thank you, Gabriel. Um, Harry, uh, do you have an example of a real natural disaster? It was the homework from last week. Um, maybe the floods in China in 1931. Oh, it is, that's a good it is very big and died a lot of people. Mm, that's a good answer, Harry. Thank you. Um, Candy, do you have an answer? Candy, can you hear me? Yes. Um, um, I think the, the, I think the hurricane uh, in the uh, in, in last week um, is a example of a real nature disaster. Oh, um, do you know where it was, Candy? Like what country? Uh, in China. Mm, I see. Um, near the Yellow River and. Uh, near the Yellow Sea and Bohai Sea. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, thank you, Candy. I think we can move on to the next thing. All right. So now we're going to have a bit of conversation. Um, so, Joy, do you want me, do you want to tell me something exciting that happened during your week? Mm, is my mom takes me to Chengdu and we play there for <clears throat> 10 days and we go to place like San Xindui and pandas mm, ban benches and things like that and my mom usually and my mom when we go to a place my mom always bought me <clears throat> a gift and most of them is books a lot of books there's very interesting to read well that sounds really fun joy uh, i'm glad you got to travel um damon uh what's something exciting that happened uh this week for you um, for me, it's like uh, yesterday. It was my birthday, and I invited a lot, invited lots of my friends, and we played together. It is very exciting and interesting. Oh, happy birthday, Damon! How old are you? Um, I'm eleven. Oh, very nice. Uh, Candy, what is something exciting that happened in your week? Um, I like playing badminton, and uh, when we play badminton, we always have to like uh, double jump. And this week, I learned how to do it, and I can do it. Uh, I can do nine double jumps in a row. Oh wow, that sounds great! Thank you for sharing. Um, Gabriel, what's something exciting that happened in your week? Uh, like there was a lot of 
of people were visiting in our apartment because we we are are we are actually planning to to rent it to someone else. Oh, that sounds very interesting, Gabriel. Thank you for your answer. Uh, Harley, what's something exciting that happened during your week? Um, this week I just stay at home, but last week I had a big competition around my grade, and I and my classmate won the winner. We just got a lot of drinks for the. How to say? For your for your class for your friends. Yeah. Oh, congratulations, Harvey! Good job on winning. Um, Judy, uh, what's something exciting that happened in your week? Um,、mm, this week I went to water park by myself for an hour and watched a movie. I had a lot of fun. Oh, that sounds like a very eventful week. Thank you for sharing. Um, Harry, what's something ex- exciting that happened in, in your week? Um, my friend came from his old house, old home, and came came back from his old home, and we played together. Um. Uh, last week we went to play the badminton. We are very enjoyed. Oh, that sounds very fun. Thank you for sharing, Harry. Um, Ming, uh, what is something exciting that happened during your week? Uh, Ming, are you there? I'm this week. I'm busy packing my stuff because I will be moving to a new home. Oh, you're moving. That sounds very interesting. Thank you for your answer. And、uh, Zoe, what's something exciting that happened during your week? For me, um, I'm the most exciting thing is that I'm almost done with my homework. Because like this week, I've been doing my homework all all day, you know. So. Oh, sounds、yeah. like you're excited to be done with your homework. Yeah,、uh, thank you for your answer, Zoe. And I think we can move on to the next slide. Okay, so today we're gonna be reading a book called The Big One. So chapter one is the fishing trip. So,、um, Joy, could you read the first paragraph, please? The bell rang for recess, <clears throat> and Sal and his friend swarmed onto the playground. It was the last day of school, and an excited shout carried over the playground like a bird song and down. <clears throat> Sal was impatient. First thing. T- First, since tomorrow, he and his uncle Mike were driving to their family cabin in the wood near <clears throat> Lake Lacuna. The lake meant fishing and plenty of it. <clears throat> there was one thing, though: there was a no technology rule in the cabin. You mean there's not even a TV? Said friend Ricky. Was shocked. Thank you, Joy. That was really good. All right, next. All right, um, uh, Damon, do you want to? Can you read the next page? Okay. Uh, so I'll check this out now. Well, at least you can play video games, right? I guess there's, there's no technology. It's the family rule. We go there to fish. So I said, "What's the shrug? This year I'm going to land land a big one. It's this enormous catfish that's been living in the lake for years. 
Ricky wrinkles his nose. Ah, uh, not my idea of fun. Give me a call when you get back. I'll be playing games on my computer. The next morning, Sal washed from his bedroom window, a uh, bedroom window, as Uncle Mickey's pickup rattled to a halt outside his apartment building. Uncle Mickey spotted him and waved, his arm outstretched. Got time for a coffee? Sal so asked his younger brother as he led him to the kitchen. Just a quick one. I can feel just fish biting already. Good job, Damon. Thank you for reading. Um, and then, uh, Gabriel, uh, can you please read the next page? On the right up to the cabin, Uncle Mickey had chatted over the racket for to pick up his remote like an old mill as it climbed Climb. at yep. the step. The steep. The steep winding road. Winding road. They finally dove into the little town of Um, Lacuna. Lacuna. Uncle Mickey pulled up outside Pity's general store. We'd better pick up a few supplies. Pete, Pete was behind the counter, had read Barry. in a newspaper. But he looked up with a gun when he saw them came in. The wall behind him was covered in photographs of fish. Well, we look what the cat dragged in. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah, good job, Gabriel. Uh, I think we can move to the next one. All right, um, let's see. Zoe, could you read the page on the left? Uncle Mikey shook Pete's head, hand. We're staying at the cabin for a few days, and we need some supplies. The fishing's not very good at the moment, but that could change, Pete said. What about the big one? Sal asked. You figure you were going to catch him? Pete chuckled. No one's managed it. No one's managed it yet. The old fella even dragged one guy into the lake. Uncle Mikey smi smiled. That's just an old story. Pete winked at him. So what's your strategy? He asked Sal. To use the smelly smelliest belt possible. Catfish sense their prey by smell, right? I've been reading up on it. Well, I think I can help you there, Pete said. Good job, Zoe. That was really, really good. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Candy, could you read the page on the right? When Sal and Uncle Mikey arrived at the cabin, they pushed open the creaky wooden door and brought their gear inside. Sal loved the old cabin. Above the fireplace, stuffed and mounted, was the catfish his father had hooked as a young boy. The fish was enormous, but its fins looked brittle with age. Maybe if I land the big one, he'll earn a place up there, Sal thought. Uncle Mikey and Sal followed the path down to the lake's edge, hoping to get a spot on the dock. There were already several people on the shore, Rod and hand, rod in hand, but the dog was deserted. It it didn't take them long to attach the bait to their hooks and cast out into the green water. Sal peered down, trying to see beneath the surface. Thank you, Candy. That was really good. All right. 
Um, Harley, can you read the next page on the left? This short bit spring inside, Uncle Mickley said, gazing out at the woods, shoveling the lake. We had your great grandfather to thank. He built the camp so that he could hide away here and ride in peace. Right? So asked it. Surprise it. Uncle Mickley nodded. In his spare time, he wrote poems, and some of them were even. Well, sorry, how do we public. And some of them were even public. So sat on the dog, doggling his feet and trying to imagine his great grandfather riding the campaign. Then it happened a poll. At first, he wasn't sure, but then the fish staggered at the line again. Saul set out, he, his hands gripping his rod. Got one, he gasped as the fish began to pull harder. Saul saw his line straining, and he tried to reach his rail to loosen the drag and let the fish run with the line. He hauled. Sorry. He hauled on his rod, and then the line went slack. The fish has disappeared. The line couldn't hold him. That must have been a hooper. Uncle Mickley wished it. Yeah, good job, Harley. Um, <coughs> Harry, can you read the uh, next page on the right? Um, so was disappointed, but now his heart was racing. He quickly tied on a new hook and sinker and placed on his line back into the water. Also, he and Uncle Millie stuck at it, at it until the sun had set. Neither of them got another bite. The next day, they went back to Petters to buy some stronger line and new bait. They decided to try a different fishing spot, and then even went fishing at night. But the catfish just weren't biting. Beating. Sometimes it happens, said Uncle Ma Uncle Mickey. So I was starting to think Ricky was right. Maybe he should have just stayed at home and played computer games. The night before they were due to leave, so started started at the stuffed fish on the wall and signed. He had just one more opportunity. So he'd better make the most of it. Yeah, good job, Harry. Thank you for reading. All right. <clears throat> um, let's have Judy. Could you read the page, please? After an early breakfast the next day, saw an uncle Michael reckoned down to the lake. They were traveling a different side, which Pat had recommended farther down the shore. There was early morning mist on the lake, and the water was as smooth as glass. So I had to admit it was beautiful even if they were proud going to leave empty headed. He started at the water, wailing a fish to upper, then finally it happened the bite he'd been waiting for. Southrail started to click and his rod deployed. There was a temple on the line, then a long pole. Get something he hauled his rod board over and uh, his rail connected. Clinking as the fish took the line saw began reading it in. Good job, Judy. That was really good. All right. Um, Ming, can you read the next page on the left? Uh -huh. Um, Ming, uh, can you hear me? All right, 
um, uh, Joy, do you want to, can you read this next page on the left, please? Don't you feel it in yet? Uncle Mikey dropped his rod and came over to help. When the fish stopped struggling, we winged it in a little. So nodded. It's a big one. He could uh, sense the fish struggling as it tugged on the line. Trying to escape, he stepped back from the water edge. <clears throat> Still, his real clicked as the fish took the line. Then it paused for a moment and so wound it in. But not for long the fish found back. The rod were being were bending under the tr under the train. And the surface the he saw a flash of dark of dark tail and a glimpse of white belty. <clears throat> The fish wasn't given in easily, and Seal's warm arms were getting tired. Uncle Mikey was at his side, ready to help, but Seal wanted to bring this one in on his own. Seal held his rod back, back and up, and then he let it drop down as he wound in the line some more. The fish pulled away once more. Again, Sal raised his rod, rod, arms straining. Now he could sense the fish was to become exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. Good job, Joy. Uh, Ming, can you hear me? Are you there? Yes. Uh, can you read the page on the right, please? Thank you. Okay. The fish was at the surface now, splashing and turning over its tail and flap. It was a catfish. It had been beaten and Beep. so near it. He kept reading the wheel. Staggering. Staggering backward away from the water. Wow. That, that's a monster. Uncle Monkey Call. He took hold of the line and held the fish into the shallow water. Sail put his rod down. A huge green. Spreading. Spreading across his face, this was a big one. It has to be. Yeah, good job, Ming. Thank you for reading this. All right. Um, Harley, could you read page on the left? The fish's head was huge, with long whiskers and black eyes. Its skin was the color of cold steel, and its body was at least three feet long. It floated in the shallow water, rubbery mouth opening and shouting. That's a big one, oh not, all right, Uncle Mickey exclaimed. I've never caught a fish that big. He clapped so on the back. Good job. So nodded, but not. Oh, seeing, seeing the fish floating at his feet, he wasn't sure what he wanted. The catfish was old. It had been in uh, this lake for years. If they kept it, the legend will, would end there and the fish would be just another ornament gathering dust above the mantle. Saul so made up his mind. Quick, Uncle Mickey, take a picture with your camera before you put it back. Good job, Harley. That was really good. Uh, let's see. Who hasn't read in a little bit? Damon, could you read the page on the right? Um. Okay. Uncle Mickey uh, raised his eyebrows, but then he understood. He took a cup of photos of the fish before pulling the hook out of his mouth. 
struggling. She lifted the fish, weighed it, weighed it into the water, and lowered it in. The catfish flopped around at first, then hastily disappeared beneath the surface. Sal and Uncle Mickey packed up their fishing gear and headed back to the cabin. It was time to drive home, but first they stopped at Pete's. Well, not your weekend, then the big one. Good job, kid, Pete chuckled. Good job, Damon. That was really good. All right. Um, last page. Um, Gabriel, can you read the last page here? I took a picture. Uncle Mickey said, I'll send you a copy of your wall. Excellent, Pete said, smiling, as Uncle Mickey's truck rated down the highway. Saw reflect on the battle with the big fish. He thought about the way it lay there. Sick, tough, laughing, still fighting to the very end. The photographs, photographs might show the size of the fish and prove Oops. that he had caught, caught it, but they wouldn't tell the whole story. Maybe I could follow in my grief grandmother's footsteps. So thought he could be creative and write a poem. So, something descriptive that brought the experience to life. A picture in words about the time he Lacked a legend, but let it live on. Yeah, good job, Gabriel. Okay, so this is the vocabulary. Um, let's have Joy. Uh, could you read the vocab? Rattled to move while making a rattling sound. Hot to bring to a stop. Creaky <clears throat> to make a squeaking noise, a sound. Straining to push yourself with the <clears throat> teacher. I don't know how to read this word. Um, okay, so pushing yourself to the maximum. Pushing yourself to the maximum. As a fortune in some form or way. Whooper, something unusually large or otherwise extremely of its kind. <clears throat> Glimpse, to take a brief look. Wound, to reel or roll something in. Struggling, to walk without the best balance. Re recommended to suggesting something. Mounted to climb something. Brittle, easy, broken, or fragile. Uh, so the last word is fragile, but other than that, you did good. Thank you, Joy. So now we're going to have a little quiz on what we just talked about it's <laughs> okay well <laughs> it's like two questions so All right. okay. okay um am i lagging or Okay, yeah, kind of. Okay, so, uh, the check mark's there. 
Hold on. Okay, let me fix this for you guys. Let me fix this, like, really quick. Hold up. Okay. <sighs> okay, how do I do this? Okay. I'm going to fix the next slide so you guys can't see it. Okay, there we go. One second, guys. We're having some technical difficulties. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, pretend you guys didn't see the answer, okay? So, what isn't allowed at the camp? Zoe, what do you think? Um, see technology. Wow, you're so smart. Good job, Zoe. Okay. All right. Um, Harry, what fish does Sal want to catch? Uh, Harry, can you hear me? Uh, it's, it's, if you don't know the answer, it's fine. Like, um, if you just want to take a guess. Okay, um, Harley, what fish does Sal want to catch? Well, I remember it's a catfish, B. Uh, yeah, that is correct, uh, yeah. Harley. Good job. Okay. So the next question is, this is like more of kind of like an opinion question. So why is catching the big one important? So Joy, why do you think it's important? Um, oh, I don't really know the answer. Uh, that's okay. You could make a guess. So, like, why is it important to Sal specifically? Maybe he, maybe he just want to catch the big one to prove he is the be best um fishing. Maybe that's a good answer, Joy. That could be the answer. Um, Judy, what do you think? Why do you think catching the big one is important? Judy, can you hear me? Uh, okay, let's ask Damon. Why do you think catching the big one is important? Um, I think catching the big one is important because uh, he wants to prove um, that he's right. Um, so catching fish is better than playing at of playing video games at home. That's a good answer. Thank you, Damon. Um, Candy, what do you think? Maybe Sal want to see if the legend is true. That's a good answer. Thank you, Candy. I like that answer. Okay. All right, so um, why does Sal want to write poetry like his great-grandfather? Um, Judy, uh, why do you think Sal wants to write poetry like his great-grandfather? Uh, Judy, can you hear me? 
it, it's fine if you don't know the answer. Like, um, you can just take a guess. Okay. Um, Gabriel, uh, why do you think Sal wants to write poetry like his great grandfather? Uh, uh, I think think catching the uh. I think because catching that special fish means a lot to him, and and he want to remember that. Uh, yeah, Gabriel, that's a great answer. Thank you. Ming, why do you think Sao <coughs> Sao wants to write write poetry like his great grandfather? Ming, can you hear me? Uh, me? Um, yeah, no, Ming, Ming. Not oh, you, Dan, yes. thank you. Uh, why do you think Sal wants to write poetry like his great-grandfather? Uh, maybe he's, he wants to tell his great-grandfather about he catch, uh, the catfish. Uh, yeah, I could see that as a reason. Thank you for your answer. Um, and I guess, Damon, um, why do you think Sal wants to write poetry like his great-grandfather? Um, I think Sal wants to write a poetry like his great-grandfather, a great-grandfather, because um, maybe he saw that poetry are easy to write and also uh, it's... it's uh, it's a good way of remembering things. Uh, yeah, I really like that answer, Damon. Uh, thank you for everyone for the answers. So the next question is, how does Sal's mindset about the camp change throughout the week and why? Um... Harry, what do you think? Harry, can you hear me? Um, yes. Um. Um, okay. Let me ask uh, Zoe, what do you think? I'm not very sure about this question. That's all right. You can make a guess. Um, maybe at first he was a little bit like, um, Considering that there's no technology um, in the cabin, so that he will be very boring. A board, I mean board, yeah. And then after, like, go, uh, went to the lake to fish, uh, maybe he um, found out that fishing is actually very fun. That's a really good answer, Zoe. Um, I agree with that answer. Joy, what do you think? Um, I'm not sure, but I think it's well. I think it saw so here about there's no there's no video games at the camp but um, first he think she should he should stay home and play video games but then he catch a bigger fish 
and he thought fishing was uh, more funner than he thought. That's a good answer, Joy. Um, so your answer is similar to Zoe's. Good job. All right. Um, next question is not really about the uh, story that we just talked about, uh, but more in general. So have you ever had a really good opportunity that you let go? Uh, Candy, have you ever had a really good opportunity that you let go? And it can be anything. Uh, Candy, can you hear me? Um, um, I think I have um, a good opportunity that I let go because um, um, I like playing badminton, like I just said at uh, the beginning of our class and and one day, like, um, uh, we're having a competition, uh, we're having a match with the other, uh, I'm having a match with another uh, player, and he is very good at it, and um, maybe if I tried, I will have some, like, I can learn from him, but I, I just let go, and I tell the coach, uh, I don't want and I think that's a really good opportunity that I let go. Uh, yeah, great response, Candy. Thank you for your answer. <coughs> um, Harry, have you ever had a really good opportunity that you let go? Mm, maybe. Hmm. Mm, one day, one there's a. Mm, one day, my mom, my parents took me to the zoo, and that time I didn't want to go. I don't want to go, and and my brother, then with my family, and when my father came back, and he said he had a wonderful day. Right? He just take many toys and eat some, yeah, make food and I just, uh, mm, I, uh. uh, okay, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good response. Thank you, Harry. And, uh, let's call on some uh, Damon, have you ever had a really good opportunity that you let go? Well, yeah, it's like uh, a few weeks ago. I I met him, and my parents are also at home. Uh, they found a great play, uh, a great place for us to play with, and she asked uh, she asked me if I want to go with them. Um, I want to finish my homework quick, uh, more quick, so I said no. But once I get back and I see those, uh, those yummy stuffs, I regret. It's like, uh, why didn't I say I want to go? Uh, yeah. Uh, great answer, Damon. Thank you. Um, explain why it's important to not give up even if times are hard. So, um, Harley, uh, why do you think it's important to never give up? Harley, can you hear me? Me? Yes. Wow. Why is it important to not give up a win? Because if you don't try, you didn't know if you can. That's a good answer, Harley. Thank you for answering. Uh, Zoe, what do you think? Um, 
Well, I have personal experience, like, because I'm doing volunteer in um, a museum, so I'm telling people about the history of my community, Shenzhen Nanshan. <clears throat> so, like, I, when I was reciting the pages, I was like, I want to give up. But after I, um, after I've done it, and after I'm telling so many people about the history, I think I've also learned something from it. From it, and um, once there's a history, um, test, and the title was, um, about like the history of my community, so I just use it. So I think it's very important. That's a really good answer, Zoe. Uh, I think it's cool that you volunteer at a museum. That seems really cool. Uh, so now we're gonna play um, a game. It's scavenger hunt, and here are kind of the rules and some of the examples. Alright, so. For this game, on the screen, we'll give you some something to find. And, okay, yeah, so something to find in your house. And the first person to find something that falls under that category gets two points. And everyone else who finds that gets one point. And uh, we'll be tracking points for you guys. So, for example, if it says to find something red, um, we want you to bring something red uh, that's near you and show it to the camera. Uh, yeah, Damon, that would be correct. All right. All right, so if you guys could all turn on uh, your cameras so we can see that you bring something to the screen. All right, yay. Good job, Joy. All right, good job, Candy. All right, so we're gonna start our thing. Okay, so that was right. Okay, find something black. Oh, good job, Damon. Okay, good job, Zoe. Good job, Joy, that's good. All right, good you job, man. Points. You have an umbrella. Hmm? How do you want to track points? Whichever name I say first, give them two, and then every other name, okay. give them one. Uh, All right, good else? job, everyone. Okay, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Who else? Okay. So next is find something square shaped. Good job, Zoe. Okay, and then Joy, good job, Joy. And Damon, Harley, good job. Is that a clock candy? That's a really cool clock. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, find something cute. Oh, good job, Zoe. It's a cute little thing. Okay, good job, Damon. Good job, Joy. Harley, it's a frog. That's so cool. Uh, good job, Candy. Oh, it's a little tree. And then Ming has Winnie the Pooh. That's so nice. Okay, you guys are great at this. Okay. Find something that makes you sad. <laughs> okay. If y'all can find homework, that would be easy. Oh, Harley. Okay, Harley has no money. That's sad. Okay, Joy has homework. Zoe has homework. Candy. What is that candy? Is that a bottle? I have no water. Oh, okay. Okay, good job, Candy. All right. Okay, find something round. 
Good job, Damon. Good job, Zoe. Oh, yes, the badminton. Good job, Candy. Okay. Good job, Joy. It's a little ball. And then, good job, Harley. It's a fan. Okay. Find something pink. Good job, Zoe. It's... Is that a... Oh, it's a pencil pouch. Okay. That's cute. Okay. Good job, Candy. Uh, okay. Good job, Joy, Harley, and Damon. Good job, guys. Okay. Find something green. Good job, Zoe. You have all of the colors, Zoe. Oh, yeah. Candy, it's the tree. Good job. Okay, Damon, you have some plants. Harley, you have your frog. Good job, Joy. It's the ball. Okay, we already did that. Uh, let's see. Find something to do with animals. Good job, Harley. It's the frog. Oh my gosh, Damon, that's cool. You have little Legos. You have little Lego animals. Good job, Zoe. It's a cheetah. Good job, Candy. Uh, uh, Ming, good job. It's Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it's not a cheetah, Zoe. Sorry. It's a turtle. Okay. That's like a little leopard thing. Okay. Damon, you have a frog. Good job, Joy. You have a bunny. Okay. Uh, find something to do with nature. <laughs> Good job, Damon. The trees. Good job, Zoe. It's a Christmas tree. Candy. It's also a tree. And then Ming, you have a flower. A lot of plants. Joy, you have a house plant. That's very nice. Damon, you have the food again. Good job. Find something that is boring. Good job, Zoe. Yeah, homework. Okay, Candy, your clock. Good job. Good job, Ming. Uh, Damon, your book. Harley, your book. Joy, your work. That's great. A lot of common themes here. It's work. Okay. Find something that's purple. Good job, Zoe. Good job, Candy. It's a book. Good job, Joy. Work. Good job, Harley. Good job, Damon. A lot. Of, so many of you guys have like rainbow colored homework. Okay, find something that's yellow. Good job, Zoe. It's a mug. Good job, Candy. Uh, good job, Ming. It's the sunflower. Good job, Harley. It's Nice. Okay. Damon has a pencil. Joy has a pen, pencil, color pencil. Okay. Good job, everyone. Find something to do with technology. Good job, Zoe. Yeah, iPhone. Uh, good job, Candy. Good job, Ming. Um. Okay. Good job, Damon. It's a phone. Good job, Joy. It's a headset. And then Harley, it's a computer. Good job, guys. Find something to do with food. Good job, Damon. Some some food. Good job, Zoe. I think everyone else is bringing food. Good job, Ming. Good job, Joy. You have some food. That's nice. I think we're waiting on Harley to come back. He might be getting some food. Alright. Good job, everyone. I guess Harley's just gone. <laughs>
Okay, <clears throat> find something artistic. Good job, Harley. You got the food. <laughs> find something artistic. Good job, Zoe. That's really pretty. Good job, Joy. That's really nice. Who else? Oh, Candy. Good job. And then Ming. Ooh, it's another flower. That's so cool. It looks like a like it's like a pipe cleaner flower. Wow, that's very nice. Harley, yes, the frog is very artistic. And then Damon, good job. Find something fuzzy. Good job, Zoe. It's the chick. Good job, Candy. All right. Teacher, what's fuzzy? It's like fluffy. Like a like a doll oh. or something. Good job, Joy. Yeah, good job. It's a duck. All right. Who won, Bochen? Um, I right. think Zoe won. Good, good job, Zoe. You did so great. You have 26. That's so good, Zoe. You all did really great. All right. So give an example. So your homework is give an example of a time when you felt giving up but didn't. All right. So other than that, that's your class. It's all finished. So you guys can leave when you want. So bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Hold on. Do I just kick her? Yeah, or I, I feel like... like... <laughs> Alright. I do that all the time. <laughs> okay. Stop recording. We're done. Okay.